Thank you for coming. I'll see you in hell. For years, comedy had a crutch. Asian accents were a source for easy and lazy laughs. My uncle in Beijing, he's a very corrupt. Even from a supposedly progressive comedian such as Rosie O'Donnell. That monkey's my mama! Who surprised culture writer Naveen Kumar during a stand-up show. She started her bit by saying, I'm sorry for any, if there are any Indians in the room. At which point she told a story about a doctor. She puts on this sort of broad Indian accent and, uh, you know, that's sort of what gets the room laughing. <laughs> Yo, go, 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 go. Even Asian comics have done it, such as Canadian Anto Chan, who regrets his earlier material relied on stereotypes. Because we knew that the audiences were usually um, uh, white audiences um, that were really excited to hear a powerful Asian voice um, joke about stuff that they have already know the punchline of. But when Chan just telling the audience he was Chinese became the punchline, it was a wake-up call. And I felt like they were just laughing at me. And this moment changed my entire per perception of like what it was that I was doing on stage. I love when people walk up to you and just guess your race. Now Chan's comedy and the stand-up scene itself is evolving. This evolution into having diverse audiences and being able to share our like true stories, that's something that I really believe. What's also changing are Asian Americans speaking out, protesting violence and racism. I think in terms of moving forward, the, the, the momentum is in the numbers. Number one, don't ask me where I'm really from. <laughs> Karen Chi is part of that. As one of two Asian writers on Seth Meyers' show, she's excited about the new opportunities. We're making more shows. I think as, as long as you just keep that door open and let more people tell stories sort of organically, you'll get to see a lot of different kinds of them. An era where the laughs come from real stories and backgrounds, not just differences. Eli Glasner, CBC News, Toronto.